talk is called emptiness. So I think that's always my preferred way of talking about this, using the word emptiness. That everything is empty. <laughs> it sounds so negative and I know if you're a psychologist, like emptiness is like the dum 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 demon word, emptiness. <laughs> if you're empty, you're borderline, <laughs> or narcissistic or personality disorder or psychotic, or detachment disorder. And I don't mean emptiness as in a negative way, like I don't mean it like um, a bad thing. I mean it's something really beautiful. That there's nothing experiencing this, that the source of experiencing isn't a thing. It's sometimes so weird doing these talks because I'm sitting here looking in a camera with a bright light behind the camera that's a little like... And um, I'm talking about something so profound and beautiful. So everything is empty. And still and perfect and there's nothing that's yours it's just a happening and there's nothing or nobody that this is happening to and that's all that's ever wanted like so whatever you dream what you want whether it be getting the perfect house or traveling the world or having kids or having less clutter in your life or a different apartment or a different house, whatever you dream for it to be, it's not true. So you might think to yourself that I am somebody that's sitting here talking to you and that you're someone that's sitting on the other side of the world or on the other side of YouTube or wherever you are. You're thinking that you're someone and I'm someone, and that's the illusion. Who is this someone? Who is this person? And I know that might sound really abstract. Like, so you try to imagine what it's like not to be a person. But it's not like that. It's not like anything you imagine, because what you imagine is happening inside the dream of you. So it's happening inside the illusion. But that whole time, there's something that's experiencing that person that's looking like under this rock, under that rock, under this, under that. And who is it? So you might think that you sat down and decided to listen to this talk, whereas actually that's something that happened. The 
that's not an independent entity that's sitting down and listening to this talk. There are impulses and thoughts and conditions arising, giving the appearance of somebody choosing to sit down and listen to this talk. So there's the appearance of somebody choosing. And it feels real, like it feels like there is somebody that chooses. Like it feels in Lisa that there's like somebody that chooses. But there's also this seeing that, knowing that that's an appearance. That's not reality. It's only seemingly real, it only appears to be real, it's not actually real. And there's nobody ever choosing anything. There is simply life happening, which is quite a relief. Um, but it also can be really scary because even though you're not conscious of it, the mind thinks, well, what about my survival? I need to look after my survival. I need to complete my tax returns, which Lisa does need to do. Still not done it. Already nearly a month after year end. She's not done it. Pas bien. Lisa does need to do that. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> um, I believe that if you say you should do, if you do, do something, you should do it. So I now actually should do it tomorrow because I've just told a hundred people that I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> so now I will. Um, uh, so it seems like it's your choice. But it's not, and that can lead to fear because then you think, if it's not my choice, then I won't do my tax returns. But actually, what happens is thoughts go in, impulses go in, and it seems like Lisa can choose to do it tomorrow. But it's also out of her hands as well. It's also God's will. It's life's will. What the person always assumes is life is against me and that life is going to go against me and something bad is going to happen to me. And it's not conscious, all of this. It's all unconscious, and it creates these seeking patterns. Seeking to be safe in the future. Somebody's eating chocolate without me. I can hear it. Like a little mouse behind the door. <laughs> so in those moments and I'm just speaking, there is only speaking happening and it doesn't belong to anybody. It's just a happening. And there's nothing to be afraid of, of dropping into what it is you truly want. It feels like you don't know what you want because for many years you've been living as an identity and you've been living as somebody and your body has got into stress. But there's some part of you that knows the natural flow. And what I mean by natural flow is like, is acting without like um, from a deeper level, sounds weird, but not from a separate level, it's like a deeper level. It's not like acting from intuition, although you could relate it to that. It's just this natural flow emanating from the body 
and the mind is included in the body it's not excluding thinking but it's not coming from a separate person that's trying to get away from fear and get to love and there is this natural flow that arises I don't always act or this body doesn't always act from its natural flow sometimes old patterns habits come up or old seeking patterns that come up and act in certain ways but there's a knowing a deep knowing of this flow and so if that arises I try to just sit it out to not act until that's passed but sometimes I can't help it like the accountant or something um, or somebody writes to me and says da -da 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 danger 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 you didn't do this you didn't do that and then I'm like <laughs> like the not it's not even a consciousness I'm just sitting out <laughs> just response run Lisa or Khaleesi does something hey Khaleesi she's out of it we've been for the beach twice you've been in the car and now you're out of it aren't you and you've had your chick chick and so just in this talk like i'm not even really conscious of what i'm talking about it's just coming out of my mouth and there's just like this feeling of like smoothness to it like don't listen too much to the words like it's more like the sense of it but that's what's more important the words are just um the top layer but even that i don't really know what i'm talking about like it none of it makes sense there is just this moment and everything else is words and thoughts and everything is just mystery so even though I say that it's only what's coming out that this moment is so mysterious we don't know why this happens or that happens or what leads to this or we can't find the beginning of anything like if you imagine like the whole of life like all these threads like pieces of thread all tied together and one action starts here and it like gets all muddled up with all the other threads and then it comes out here and we can never really find the start or stop of anything it's all so interconnected and we just have our perspective as humans our limited perspective of the way we judge things and that helps us function um, but it's not the way things are the truth is that it's mysterious and we don't know we don't know anything but this moment any judgment that we have or any story that we get involved with there's nothing wrong with that it's just not truth it's just what we're thinking about and then what we're communicating but the actual truth is right here this presence is that which is looking out it's that which is experiencing and that doesn't go in time it's timeless It's a mystery we don't know what that is you're never going to find it and suddenly be like this is who i am let me look at it because who would be looking at it so the person always wants to grab who it is and look at it and say ah 
I'm life, I'm consciousness. But you can't because the person, everything you see, is being experienced by that stillness of who you are. So who you are is only here. And it's not the body, it's not the mind, it's not thoughts, it's not feelings, it's not ideas. All of those come and go in who you are. And even to say that who you are is consciousness is kind of making it too small. But we can say that, but it's just also seeing that consciousness is all things. Like all things are conscious. So consciousness in a way, it's like a functioning, it's not the source. The source is a mystery, it's unknown. But it uses consciousness in order to experience itself. But you could also say consciousness and then just see that consciousness is totally empty. It's not a thing. So some people describe it as a bridge, like consciousness is the bridge between nothing and everything. That's so beautiful. It's like a bridge. But then at the same time, you can't separate it out. There is only nothing and everything. So then you can like squish up the bridge. <laughs>